<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Oh, oh excuse me. <clears throat> yep, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Chris and uh, yeah, today we're doing an asteroid station around the ELU thing in a way and I'll explain as we go along in the video. But here we go, let's explain what's happening. So there it was, it was like, how long ago, like last week or something? Yeah, it was probably last week or maybe early this week. I don't know. Anyways, I figured, you know what? It's time to make that asteroid station. So I made a rocket. It took me about half an hour to make, approximately. I did a few basic tests, like orbiting around Kerbin to see if it actually can orbit. <laughs> and I ended up uh, rendezvousing with a an asteroid. I think it was like a C-class. Yeah, C-class asteroid. You know, hooked up to that C-class asteroid. And then I decided that it was time to take it to ELU. So, you know, there we were, burning. We did the maneuver. Everything was accurate. But damn, it was taking a while. It was taking a while, indeed. It always takes a while when it comes to uh, atomic rocket motors. That's kind of expected. Although I had six or eight atomic rocket motors. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably eight. Yeah, sounds about right. Eight. With a, a uh, jumbo fuel tank. Yeah, one of those big orange ones. And I thought to myself, this is going to take ages. We have another five asteroids to take to ELU. And then we would have to dock every single asteroid onto some sort of structure that will connect all these asteroids together. So I decided, you know what? Nah, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Instead, I decided, let's use magic. <laughs> Let's use mods. I mean, more specifically, hyper edit and cheats. Because, well, why not, right? That's something different, right? Not everyone does this kind of stuff. You know, it's different. You know, you know. The kerbals don't always die. Uh, you can get your your whatever you're transporting safely from A to B. Well, not always safely, actually, with exception to a few a few things that may happen, such as what you're about to see. You know. Kind of destroying a runway by accident, or at least part of the runway. Yep. <laughs> uh, but this really saved a lot of time just by doing this. So it it took, what, 20, 20 seconds maybe to take an asteroid from space onto Kerbin in a very specific spot, like right on the runway. That's, you know, it's very, very time saving. And I was very happy about that. But as we were doing this, the lag, the lag, lag, it's my worst enemy. <laughs> It's like increasing, steadily increasing, steadily increasing. Although keeping in mind that uh, the plan was to use an E-class asteroid as like the center of this asteroid station. And obviously, you know, the larger the object, you know, the more parts, yada, yada, lag, obviously lag. And we have several D-class asteroids as well as you may have noticed, or maybe you will see later on. So at this point, the lag is starting to get to me. And I mean, I made something that was slightly different. I had a couple more parts, a couple more fuel tanks, and it, the lag was really starting to get to me. So I decided to quit. I raged quit, and you will see why I rage quit soon enough. I, I turned I turned gravity back on, and this whole thing just smashed to pieces. So what I'll do is, I'll give you guys the persistent file so that you can continue this project, because I'm done. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>